The Bushidoverse is a world that keeps on giving. Unlike the Marvel and DC EU, the extended Seagal universe has gone from strength to strength, with Belly Masters and Speed Masters plus whatever the hell this guy is. I'm sorry to break it to you, but if you're in this situation, you're done for. Well, I feel like a bit of an idiot now. I mean, something so simple, but I couldn't even see it. Just turn your body. Sistema, sistema, sistema. But for me, the best thing to come from my exploration of the Bushidoverse was Paul, and how grossly underthanked he is. I'll just bring Paul over here. That's a knockout point. Thank you, Paul. Well, thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Out of that circle! A lot of these fake martial arts tools are from older footage, but I still come across stuff that I haven't seen or forgot all about. I like to highlight the little details others might not. Like this bloke who appears to be fanning his ball stench onto his attackers. Now there are two key takeaways from this that I personally noticed. Firstly, none of these people are using the enthusiasm or vigor of, say, a Pavel. This is how you're supposed to sell the bullshit. And this lady looks like she's genuinely having a laugh or giggle halfway through her supposed neutralization from the attack. And let's forget for a moment that they're all just strolling up and following the same little jiggle routine before they tumble. What I want to know is, why are so many of these blokes wearing glasses? Four eyes. Four eyes. Four eyes. Four eyes. Did he just lob up to the optometrist and pay them all to come and help out? How did he get so many older fellas to take part in this sh**? Is their poor eyesight the reason they can't see the bullshito? These fellas here would be someone's grandfather, right? Assuming they procreated. So Pop Pop is involved in this sort of rubbish. He's taking a dive for a fiver. <laughs> Bing bang boom. <laughs> I expect it from this doofus. He looks like he needs friends so he'd do anything to belong. But these older fellows should know better. The magical fan fairy is pretty badass. We can't deny that. But most of us don't have access to a magical fan. This elderly Japanese gentleman shows us how using the forced help of his grandson, you can use a weapon as a voodoo doll and f*** off your attacker, causing them to clench up. Once you've whacked them via proxy, take them to the ground and have them lick your feet. Ultimate power move. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the next video just plainly pissed me off. Forget the idiots slapping themselves with sticks to demonstrate whatever they're trying to demonstrate. But this guy, the fella in the wheelchair, is where my beef lies. I've got nothing against the disabled or ably challenged, whatever the PC term might be, but old wheels over here is trying to pretend as if he is the greatest seated fighter to exist in this world. We all know there is only one true seated sensei. So take a walk, champ. Oh, that's right, you can't. I'm not here to attack physically disabled people. That's beneath me and obviously petty. I'm mainly here to make fun of individuals that may or may not have some sort of mental impairment that causes them to preach or believe this crap. Like this champion who's using a giant log as a weapon. For those moments you happen to have a giant log laying around and someone attacks you with a f samurai sword in slow motion. Kicking back out of reach for every round. Just out of reach, come around. Boom. 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 Bing, bang, boom. Kick. Boom. That's obviously not a realistic scenario and is complete hocus pocus. Unlike this fellow bald man's bullshit or magic. I have actually noticed that a lot of these Bullshito masters are baldies also. So I wonder if there's a correction. So I wonder if there's a connection there. Probably not. Everything is corrected. Everything is connected to you. Was it? This guy's not only a fellow Chrome Dome, but by the sound of his accent, he might also be a fellow Aussie. Think about Tai Chi, the Tai Chi body for now. 
like you're a, hy a hydraulic creature. Which makes me feel even more disgraced. He's trying some alternative New Age Bruce Lee bullshit. Be water, my friend. But he takes it to a whole new level. Like you're, you're made of water. The water inside me, your water, my water. If I'm like one big water creature. It looks like he's managed to rope in his accountant or a local chef to help him out with the demonstration. And the poor f***er just keeps getting pushed into a padded wall. <laughs> Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you very much, Paul. Merlin here starts harping on about magic. Like it seems magical, but it's there. There is a technology to it. Magic being just a, a, a technology we don't quite understand. Water creatures. I'm like one big water creature. And being inside the accountant, which is sort of intrusive and disturbing. Or my hydraulics are filling you. Now I've filled you up, you become part of me. You're just part of me now. You're part of me now. Now I've filled you up. And together they fuse into Richie! And become this guy, Billy Bob Bullshito. Using the long five point, as I explained earlier. He not only has the authentic combination of full denim overalls, but the curvaceous belly to go with it. So you know he spent hours drinking beer and studying martial arts. He's actually from the Dillman School of Pressure Point Knockouts, which are great in controlled environments where everyone moves slowly, but can be absolute dog shit in an actual fight, so beware. If I say I'm going to knock you out, and you raise one toe and push one toe down, can't knock you out. And then if I go to try again, you reverse it. If you keep doing this, I won't knock you out. Plus... Public service announcement. Remember, people. Balls, throat, eyes, and get the f out of there. Survive, no hero bullshit. Yeah, buddy! Billy Bob gets a little graphic about his preferences and how he deals with propositions from strangers. Never look a gift head in the mouth. So, we're going to take advantage of that, that head. I'm going to take his head. Then he basically assaults his nephew slash lover. So. And the kid drops like a bag of shit as all of his other brothers slash lovers rush to revive him. For being completely honest, the kid looked a little bit special needsy before he was even kicked and slept, so... Just saying. Hey, 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 hey. Now, some of these legends are genuinely trying, so I'm not going to make fun of them. Well, not in the same way anyway. This slender lad does his little pose before he's about to lay some smack down on some unsuspecting bricks. He broke one, so that's pretty good achievement, I don't know why he's upset. But obviously nobody explained how force and gravity work, so he's trying to break the bricks from underneath without any resistance from the top. I don't think he has any idea how much speed slash force is required for this. I must be a dumb motherfucker or something cause I keep putting my cookies in these bags. It makes no sense, but these people are special, such as this champion, bless his soul. Now this legend obviously uploaded this himself, so let's remember that. He looks fit, He's having a good old hit of the bag, but wait, it's time to stop for a warm cup of cocoa. But even that doesn't stop him, nope. He persists because this is the future he's working towards. putting in the work and goes for a jog before coming back with a vicious attack. He's got a random sex swing out to the side. The dude's living the Seagal way of life. He's also running with some weird-ass classical music in the background. which is hardly fight music, but again, these people are unique, cultured characters. Out of that circle! Now, it wouldn't be a Bushido video without a little bit of gun self-defense. 
or in these instances, how to get shot quickly. As soon as I come into the roll, so you can either kick with that leg, or if the gun is at, in this position, you can hit with the other foot and point the gun into the ground. See, in this leg can assist to knock the gun out if it already hasn't been knocked out. Gotten down, do the front roll. See, if he's following me with the gun, my legs can right away hit from both, hand, uh, both sides to his arm. I've shown idiots like this before, but today's Gun Corner will be showcasing Bill Goldberg looking like he has ants in his pants and acting erratically. Maybe high on that nose candy booger sugar, eh? 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 Now he starts off with some slaps to the face and chest, which is fine, getting some distance. He stabs one bloke in the chest, but if you ask me, he has made one fatal mistake in this little survival drill. He's completely ignored the Joker standing in the background. I mean, has this kid never ever seen a Batman animated series or movie? <laughs> he also wrongfully neglects post NWA Ice Cube standing there waiting for payback on Paul Giamatti for stealing all his money. This guy is a badass. Yay, yay! Now, Billy Bob then launches a knife at someone, but unfortunately for him, slow-mo shows us that he throws like Mr. Burns, so it bounces off. He f***ed up the reload also. I'm by no means a gun or weapons expert, but I'm calling bullshit on Bill Goldberg here. I think he needs some lessons from the big man. I'm trying to pass down some of the secrets that have made me a master shooter. I can't have no more and from now on, she can talk to my ass. Without trying to focus on colour and race, I have noticed that I've yet to come across any, or many, Africans or African Americans getting sucked into any of this shit. White people, for sure. Asians, you could argue they started all this bullshito. And everyone thinks they're the smart ones doing math and working 19 hours a day and shit. This bloke is Indian, so he's brown, which doesn't count, and part of Asia. I'm actually not sure what's with this knob. Been watching way too many of those Bollywood movies where average men fight tigers and outrun bullets. He should be dead ten times over. It's always fun to laugh at these idiots. But if you're ever faced with the choice of using a bullshit move you saw on the internet, or complying with your attacker, just give him your money or whatever they want. Unless you've got full moons on your fingertips and are full of chi, run away whenever possible. You can see it with the half moons. My chi is up now because of the filming. I have half moons in my fingertips now. That means the chi is it's just coming out. Don't listen to these lunatics. Lunatics like Dr. LT. Here explaining some sort of voodoo magic that makes me think he might not be a real practicing health professional. Spinning energy in a way that charges. Does that make sense? I don't take energy away from there. I spin energy in a way that charges and I set up a vortex and I connect my vortex with that vortex. Take a look at that now. See that complete? They're coming back together again. See it? But I had them completely open between the blue there and the blue there. What I did is I took the vortex and I put it up there and then I just breathed into it. Notice it's starting to open up again. See it? Went outside. I proceeded to do cloud bursting just like that. And you watched it. What did you see? There's one of clouds, was, you know, and all of a sudden it just opened up. And then where it opened up was brighter than the rest of the sky. They started to have a separation between them, like it was uh, almost like dissolving. Instantly happened with um, some sort of, oh, psycho. Listen to Larry Wick explain how everything you're taught is horse shit. You know this guy's talking the truth because he's sporting double denim. So he's not to be f***ed with. He throws a punch. I'm gonna come in with an arm lift or some kind of arm. This is fantasy. This is, this is not real. I cannot twist. As soon as I hit this arm, this other hand's coming. This other hand's coming. I promise you, he'll tear your head off. So many people, when they train, they throw one punch, and I get to do my fun things. I get to look great. I get to look good. What's gonna happen? That's not gonna happen. He's gonna come in with power and strength. And this is what's going to happen. Taking my balance. You must have the mindset that you cannot grab 
You cannot throw. Absolutely not. You cannot knee lift. You're trying to get a knee lift in there. I'm a trained martial artist for 30 years, and I, my best knee lift is going to just n do nothing. I'm standing on one foot. I'm going to be the one on the ground. We're going to look at the difference of the people out there, the smaller people and the larger people. We're going to break those up very quickly, and we're going to show you some of the things that we do. And we only do two or three things. All right, legends, thank you all for watching. If you've had a laugh, consider liking and subscribing. It costs you nothing, and you're part of the most exclusive and groundbreaking cult community sweeping the world. Cigalism. Steven Cigar can save my life. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters. Your support is legendary, and I love you all and appreciate you. I fucking love you. I love you. I fucking love you too. I fucking love you too. If you can and feel so inclined, think about joining that legendary group. We get uncensored videos and early releases, as well as the odd exclusive clip here or there. If you want to drip yourself in Cigal awesomeness and have women throwing themselves at you, Check out the merch store where you'll find a range of options. Until the next video, my friends, beware bold bullshito masters. They do exist. Don't push your accountant up against the wall, but above all, stay awesome. Peace, legends. I'm a monster with my sorrow